Do, 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 Brian, real, do Brian, Brian you real know when you're not supposed to get alcohol. You aren't supposed to get it until you're 21. Marijuana? Come on, you know that. What's that? You Brian, know that it's, it's entirely possible to say this thing is legal just the way alcohol is and say you can only have it once you're over the age of 21. Kids are getting it anyway. Okay, and we're getting a lot of tweets from people saying kids are getting it. it because it's illegal. And once no. it's legal, they're going to have a harder time. Yeah, Brian, no, why It'll you, be Brian, much easier to get it if you're a kid. I mean, think about how easy it, it is to get marijuana. Brian, do you care? Brian, do you care? Brian, if you're underage, a lot Brian, easier than to get marijuana. Brian, actually, you're absolutely incorrect. There are two sets of data the government takes. The household survey and the monitoring the future program i study this stuff apparently you don't since 1999 children admit it's easier to get non-taxed uncontrolled marijuana as compared to controlled and taxed products like alcohol tobacco and pharmaceuticals you are just simply incorrect and i don't see how you can justify your position when you claim you don't want children to access marijuana we i, I don't know where you're getting st your staff i just from, listen to the, 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 the house let me ask you alan isn't it the, easy for, I just for kids Brian, to get alcohol right from their parents houses so if their parents are smoking pot they're going to be able to get that as well it's just a well, common I mean, that's sense where, argument. That's where everybody starts, well, right? It, it, they, it, they, it, they first it, go to mom and dad's liquor cabinet, and well, that's where they get their first taste of alcohol. If that is true, where you and maybe I got our first taste of alcohol, that does not justify making it illegal, does it? I don't see how so that makes wrong. justify legal. How does it justify legal that maybe Vicky and I it's got alcohol easier. before if we were 21? Parents, if, if, if I, as a parent, are buying right. marijuana for recreational purposes, it's going to be real easy for my kids to get it. Right. It just makes logical sense that if you hey, run into a 7-Eleven hey, and can buy some marijuana, it's going to be easy for hey, kids hey, to get hey, Brian, it. You don't, I don't need know, to Brian, do a study on that I think one. it's Brian, going to be I, more control than that. But let me well, ask it's you. Be a, look, it's going to be a lot more control. Let me ask you about law enforcement. Not want Brian, it to be controlled like that. Brian, he wants would, everybody would, to have access to no, it. I, Brian, no, no, would law enforcement like to have resources that they're spending on pot to go to other things? Would they like to be freed up from that? Well, it's, like a, maybe it's a fallacy. It's a fallacy, it's a fallacy to fallacy? say that all of a sudden you legalize marijuana and, and all these arrests are going to go down. You're going to have more drug driving because more people are going to be smoking pot. You're going to have more problems if people I've are I've got a commenter who said public. crime will drop. You don't see beer distributors oh. out there killing each other in the street. They don't. You see people who are Brian's, drunk Brian's fighting argument. a lot. I mean, you do see a lot of uh, right. negative Brian, outcomes as Brian, a result that, of people Brian, who are drunk. Brian, you're pointing to the misuse of alcohol. Everybody in this studio everybody who's listening agrees people shouldn't misuse alcohol but you are not making any logical or rational argument yes, why this excuse me no you're not because you're a hypocrite if you use alcohol and tobacco and yet you think someone like me should be in a cage I don't use heroin I don't right. use crystal well, meth. Well, good for you. Do you? Wait, let no, me ask. No, I don't. Then you're but a that, hypocrite. Well, no, you want to let some hold drugs on, be let me, legal right. let me get in here. Be. Let me right. get in here and ask you to bring out your crystal balls. <laughs> Brian, do you think that this is going to pass in California? And if it passes in California, do you think it's going to spread? I'll ask no. both of you that. I'll say no, and, and because I think the people of California... It's okay. I mean, I understand why the people of California would want medical marijuana. There are rational reasons for having medical marijuana, but there's no rational reason to just allow everybody to go out and buy marijuana for recre purely recreational purposes. It'll cause more crime in the state, and it's not going to bring in all that much revenue because you have so many outcomes that are bad as a result of marijuana use. Probably more money will go out of the state coffers as a result. It passes prologue. We're going to see the legalization of marijuana. Conservatives and liberals both agree across all the spectrums. Prohibition is a failure. Those that justify it make no sense in a free market capital system like ours. None at all. None at all. All right, we've got about a minute left. Let me ask both of you in 30 seconds to give me your, each of you get 30 seconds. Brian, let me start with you. Give me your final thoughts on this. Well, I mean, I think reasonable people can have a disagreement about a lot of issues, but I don't think reasonable people can disagree on one fact, that we have a society that already uses too many drugs. We need to slow that down, not make it more accessible. Prohibition has failed after 73 years, arresting somebody every 37 seconds, spending tens of billions of dollars, wasted tax dollars every year, is feckless, flaccid. It hasn't achieved any of the government's stated goals. Ironically, like tobacco, in my lifetime, which has been cut in half, we didn't arrest anybody for it, we didn't test anybody's pee, we didn't racially profile, we didn't take away student loans, we didn't do all of these things to achieve the stated goal of reducing tobacco use. We simply tax it at higher levels 
levels and we didn't advertise it. We didn't make it illegal and we didn't make the user a criminal. So if pass is prologue and we want to see a reduction in marijuana use, we need to have a system like tobacco where it's legal and it's educated against. All right. That was a very spirited discussion. I want to say thanks to both of our guests, to Brian Darling and to Alan St. Pierre. It was wonderful having both of you on. We could keep this going for another hour. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have today. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Thanks for your tweets, and we'll see you back here next Monday at 1230. ABC News Now. Good to know.